What is going on guys, Houndish here, and today I wanted to bring you some gameplay and a little review of the Stolen Will, which is the new Taken shotgun inside of the April update. And this is obtained from the new Taken Winter's Run Strike, and it's a pretty awesome PvE shotgun, and it's the equivalent as well to the Dry Rot. 32 from House of Wolves. This is basically a year two dry rot, which is pretty damn awesome. I also wanted to say a quick thanks to my friend Matt for letting me use this thing. He managed to get it dropped in the strike earlier today because he's a lucky bastard. So either way, let's take a look at the gun right here. So the perks on this particular roll of it are linear compensator in the ballistics right here. We've got CQB ballistics and soft ballistics as well. And then we've got crowd control, which is pretty nice for killing a lot of ads in close range. Lightweight, which is always fun quick draw and then flared magwell as well to increase that reload speed which is actually fairly decent right there and then danger close so the weapon gains increased reload and handling when two or more enemies are in close proximity and it just looks super cool the weapon as well with the taken kind of style um so yeah it's a really super cool shotgun so let's talk about stats a little bit it's a 35 rate of fire and 40 impact variety of shotgun like i said identical in those stats to the dry rot from back in the day although it does have a tiny bit more stability and range than the dry rot has so it's a high rate of fire shotty which really excel in prison of elders in my opinion because there's a lot of ads and you'll often be very close range to those ads as well and this thing can one shot no end of low tier enemies and can kind of melt majors especially with a good roll which i'll talk about in just a second but as well as this the weapon just has a kind of super cool factor to me i really like the weapon model for a star again it looks like the dry rot which is pretty much based on the two to the morgue weapon model which is super cool and as well as this this thing just sounds really awesome just Listen to this noise. That just sounds pretty damn awesome to me. Kind of like how Invective has that kind of same, like really kind of gritty, grotty sound. It's really cool. And I loved the dry rot back in the day as well, which helps. And I'd managed to grab a full auto one, which is definitely an absolute beast and destroyed those fallen captains back in the prison of elders um, and important targets and things like that. So onto the weapon rolls and what to look out for. Firstly, full auto can roll on this weapon, which is absolutely fantastic for burning the hell out of targets, like I said before. And I'm definitely going to be great running for a full auto one crowd control and danger close are both pretty nice bonuses crowd control especially for just kind of clearing through a whole bunch of ads especially in that prison of elders or strike content is really really cool and then of course that works pretty nicely with danger close because there'll be a lot of stuff around you um and since you know like i said prison of elders is kind of always operates like that final round is also a good option battle runner is a pretty fun bonus as well and life support uh, can roll on this as well which are all good you know bonuses as well as like i said fun bonuses for this beastly weapon and as per usual getting as much range and impact from your ballistics is always good but overall the weapon is just super effective and fun for pve content and maybe a full auto roll could be a lot of fun in pvp as well if you're willing to kind of have a mess around with that um, but in general i prefer you know much higher impact and ranged shotties for pvp but there you go guys i just want to show you some quick gameplay and talk about this thing because it's super awesome um to uh, use and i definitely need to get one of these dropped because you know like like I said, dry rot is just a lot of fun back in the day, and this is pretty much the equivalent, apart from it looks takenified, and what better way to kill Taken than with a shotgun covered in Taken stuff. So anyway, hope you have enjoyed the video, guys. Let me know down below if you've managed to pick this thing up or if you're going to be grinding for it. Any awesome rolls would be cool to see as well. So if you have enjoyed that video, don't forget to drop a like and comment down below. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see a lot more Destiny content, feel free to hit that subscribe button for a lot more. But for now, have an awesome time in the April update. I will catch you very soon.